What up, everyone? So, we've got Luke right here. A box I'm always excited to see. So, doing videos somewhat on time this month, which is a good thing to see. So let's take a look at this box and see what we got. Alright, first, looks like we got a shirt. Let's take a look at this. Feels really soft. Nice and soft. So that's really cool. Got a nice Robocop shirt. It is actually really soft in quality, like one of the softest shirts I think I've ever received. Very nice. I like the design of it. And it's not a crossover from what I can see. It's just a legit Robocop shirt. It's actually really cool. Very nice. Nice in quality. Good print. I really like that. That's a nice job. Cool. Uh, I'm totally not blanking out what the theme is. I'm sure it has something to do with that. But I think that's a really awesome shirt all around. I'm going to give that like a 9 out of 10. That's pretty fantastic. I love that a lot. Good all around. Sweet. All right, see what we got next. Looks like we got a Dorbs figure from Fallout. I would say this is exclusive, but I don't think it is. I don't see any sticker on there saying that it's exclusive, but that's cool. I think he looks really cool. I have not personally played Fallout, but I've heard tremendous things about it. And of the options they have on the side, this guy definitely looks the coolest. So there we go. Nice Fallout Dorbs. All right, next. Looks like we got an item from the Matrix, and this looks like a puzzle. It says right there, little 300-piece puzzle. It doesn't look like there's anything really special about it. It says 11 by 14 inches. Okay, now uh, we got a Matrix puzzle. Comes in a little cube. Sure, why not? Moving on. Looks like we got a little Terminator 2. Uh, I guess you could call this a tin. It's like kind of a mix between like a tin and an art print. Almost looks like a DVD case, kind of. But yeah, it's just a... A uh, piece of tin. I'm not sure what to refer to that as. A uh, wall decoration, maybe? I think that sounds good. There we go. Terminator 2 wall decoration. Next. Looks like we got a necklace. No, this is a keychain. From Bioshock. Got the key from Bioshock. Focus. There we go. So that right there comes in the little beaded chain. That's cool as well. Uh, yeah, seems like we're getting a few video game stuff in here, which is weird because this is Loot Crate and not Loot Gaming. And then the last item in here is a pin of a little bomb. So that's cool. They always do a good job on their pins. Focus. There we go. Yeah, they always do a really good job on their pins. So that's very nice, too. And the theme is Dystopia. That's the theme on this one. So it seems like we got a few gaming things in here, which is fine, but it seems like those should be geared more towards the loot gaming, since there's a box specifically for that, but that's just me. Uh, Alright, that was all the items in the box, so not a ton of items. Uh, yeah, so we'll take a little break, and I'll do some research on these items, and we'll come back, talk about a value and a rating. See you soon. Alright, we are back. Let's talk about some values. First, the shirt. I love this shirt. I think it was fantastic really one of the better shirts I've seen. It's got a really cool design, really cool quality. Like I said, I think I'll give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's quite fantastic. But it'll still get the standard 12 to $15 value, as all shirts do. Next, uh, the Dorbs. Unfortunately, non-exclusive. It's kind of weird to see Luke, Luke Crate give non-exclusive Funko stuff, or any figures for that matter, because they're so good at getting exclusives, but lately they kind of haven't been. Last month they did the uh, Q-Fig, which I know they have a partnership with, and this time they did Adorbs, which I also know they have a partnership with. So it's it's weird that they didn't do exclusive, but you know, not that big of a deal. It's still a cool figure, but Adorbs are pretty much never worth anything. Uh, that goes for eight to ten, which is pretty standard for any Adorbs. Nothing really special about it. Then this little tin guy. They said in the booklet that it is a print. I said wall decoration, but they said it's a print, so technically it's a print, but. Uh, I don't really see it that way because, you know, I don't know how you're supposed to hang this up. As you can see on the back, there's no, like, pinhole or anything or any way to hang it up. And it doesn't lay flat, so it's not like you can tape it. So I don't know how you're supposed to display this, honestly. And it is kind of weird. If it's a print, I feel like it should just be a full square. But, I don't know, it's a, just a very odd piece. It's not quite an art print. It's not quite like a wall hang. It's kind of this weird in-between of just the, like, Terminator T-800 head. So, okay, like, whatever. But value on this, not that much, like, four to six, because it's literally just a piece of tin, so not a ton of value there. All right, the puzzle. 
this actually is exclusive. So that's cool, but you know, it's a puzzle. It's, you can make these yourself, honestly. They're not hard that, that hard to do. But you know, it's exclusive and it's Matrix and it comes in a nice little box. So that actually goes for about five bucks. That's right around that amount. So decent value. Then uh, I thought this was a keychain. This is actually a blank key. So you get keys made from this. This is a blank key and then you copy a key and they carve into it. So that's actually kind of cool. Different, uh, interesting. Um, I don't know how many people would use that because I really don't use keys that much, honestly. I have like a house key, but I'm not going to duplicate it. So I don't know how practical it is, but if you happen to need a key, it is really cool. But, you know, not super useful. But anyway, this actually goes for a decent amount, like six or seven dollars. It's decorated, so that's actually pretty cool. Then our pin. This goes for more than the usual pin. I think just because people like the design of it. It's not their usual style of pin. Usually they have the metal pins that have like grooves and um, some texture to it. This one is just solid and flat and has more like the plastic feel to it. But I guess people like the design of it because the value is actually going for like seven or eight dollars on this pin. So it looks pretty cool. So decent value on that pin. So that brings our value on the low end of 42 and on the high end of 51. So you got double your value, on, even on the low end. So you got double your value, which is good. So we like that. Um, as far as the overall items in here, you know, I, I just thought they were okay this month. I don't think I was thoroughly impressed by anything. Uh, I, well, I was impressed by the shirt. I did love the shirt. And everything else in here was cool, like the dwarves. It was cool. It was a good figure. But, you know, nothing special about it. It's very common. Uh, the key, it's cool, but not super practical. The puzzle it's a puzzle like you can find similar ones for like a dollar so that's not too special there and the print slash tin thing is interesting but again I don't know how you're supposed to display it it's the, kind of an awkward size and shape so it's like eh. so this is something I've always noticed about Loot Crate they always do a good job but they have odd choices sometimes sometimes the things they pick are different which is good we like to see different but it's just like huh like okay like that's cool but eh, oh, I, I don't really know what to say about that so overall, it was I thought it was a moderate month of stuff, all good stuff, but you know nothing in here was particularly amazing besides the shirt. I really like the shirt, but that's kind of it. So that being said, I'm going to give it a 6.75 out of 10 because it was still a really good box. Got double your value. You got interesting stuff. You got good variety, but I don't think anything in here was particularly crazy or like super special. Um, and I, I forgot to mention that the pins... In Loot Crate, they always do come with an incentive. This comes with downloadable content for Fallout. Uh, I think so uh, up to date, I think Loot Crate's the only one that gives incentives on the pins. From what I've seen, Loot Crate DX and Loot Anime hadn't. They may have started. Um, I'm, I'm not totally sure on that. But anyway, they, they do have incentive on there. So that may be also why the pin got a little bit higher value. But, you know, you never know. Anyway, this has been Loot Crate, 6.75 out of 10. 9 out of 10 on the shirt. Let me know what you guys thought. See you in the next video. Love you all. Peace.